Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be using our EC2 instance to create an AMI. In the last lecture, you can see that we did a lot to set up our website. So instead of always using those processes every time we need to set up our website, what we can do is use this EC2 instance that we currently have our website configured on to create an AMI. Then we can use that AMI to launch another EC2 instance and that would have all the files for our website on it. So to create an AMI, I'm going to select services and I'm going to select EC2 on that compute. I'm going to select on my running instance and you should have your setup server running. Select it, then come to actions, then come to image and template, click on it and select create image. And we are going to give our image a name. I'm going to call it Fleetcat AMI. And I'll use the same name as the description. We are going to leave everything else as default. Scroll down and click create image. And it is now creating our image. To see that image on the left side, select AMI. And you can see that the status of that image is pending. I'll give it some time to finish creating that image. So after waiting several minutes, my AMI is now available. And to find your AMI, just go under images and select AMI and you'll see it there. You can also see the snapshots on the EBS block store. Select snapshots. And you'll see it in there. Next, let's select our EC2 dashboard. And we are going to select our running instance. Let's select our setup server and let's stop it. So under instance state, select stop instance. And I'm going to stop. So I'm only stopping it for now to test my AMI to make sure my AMI is working. So instead of terminating it, let's just stop it for now. So I'm going to refresh to make sure that instance is stopped. That instance has been stopped and I don't have any instance running. Next, let's go back to our AMI. And make sure your AMI is selected and I'm going to click launch. It is going to be a T2 micro. Select next to configure instance detail. Let's put it in our test VPC and select the drop down and let's put it in public subnet one. And select next to add storage. We are going to leave the storage as default. Select next to add tag. I'm going to give it a name and I'll call it AMI server. Then click next to configure security group. I'll select an existing security group. And on that security group, again, I'll select my application load balancer security group, my SSH, and my web server. Click next to review and launch, and launch instance. I'm going to choose an existing key pair, acknowledge that I have access to it, and launch instance. Then I'm going to click view instances. It is now launching that EC2 instance. Once that EC2 instance has passed the status check, we are going to copy the public IPv4 address and we will see if we can access our website. The main purpose of doing this is to test whether our AMI is working properly. I'll give it some time to pass the status check. So after waiting some time, my EC2 instance has passed the status check. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to copy the public IPv4 address. And when I paste it in this tab, I should be able to access my website. Paste it in there, press enter. And there you go. We can access our website from this new AMI. So that means we did everything correctly. So now that we know that our AMI is working properly, let's go back to our EC2 instance. Go back to my EC2 dashboard. And I want to select all my instance in all states. The instance we want to terminate is our setup server. I'm going to select it. On that instance state, I'm going to select terminate instance and click terminate. We are terminating it because we know now that we have an AMI that works. So we can also terminate our AMI server because we have tested and it works. So let's just terminate everything. So terminate. And that is everything we need to do in this lecture. So refresh 
and make sure you don't have any EC2 instance running. In the next lecture, we are going to create our application load balancer. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.